In this brain bit by bit, I will show images of heterotopic gray matter, which is a malformation of cortical development that can be associated with epilepsy, but not always. Literally, heterotopia means that the gray matter is at another place or out of place than usual, like this sheep between the dogs. Heterotopic gray matter has the same signal intensity as cortex on all MRI sequences. So on T2, inversion recovery, and T1 weighted images, it should have exactly the same signal intensity as the normal cortex. In this case, the heterotopic gray matter is located in the periventricular area bilaterally. If the heterotopia is unilateral, it's more often associated with cortical abnormalities of the normal topic cortex. Heterotopia is a malformation of cortical development, and I've shown this image before of an eight week old human embryo where there is proliferation of stem cells in the ventricular zone. Migration of the glutamate neurons arising from the ventricular zone along the radial glial cells in the subventricular layer and intermediate zone. And then there's organization of the neurons in the cortical plate, the precursor of the cortex. The GABAergic inhibitory neurons arise from the lateral ganglionic eminence and they migrate gigantically in the cortex, so not radially like the glutamate neurons. And the interesting thing of the migration of the glutamate neurons is that during the journey towards the cortex, they change in shape. Just below the cortical plate is the subplate, which serves as kind of a waiting room for the neurons before they enter the cortex. And in this subplate are very early migrated so-called firstborn neurons. And in this article in Science 2018, they tracked three neurons on the way towards the cortex. And in the same article, another group described that the neurons in the subplate had transient contact with the migrating neurons from the, coming from the ventricular zone. And first they had this multipolar morphology. And uh, because of this transient contact and uh, glutamate uh, neurotransmission, they changed the shape into a bipolar cell mode, which made it more easy for them to migrate and move in the cortex. And in each zone, so the ventricular zone, the intermediate zone, there is a different environment and the neurons need different molecules and different genes to be able to migrate to the next region. So in a periventricular heterotopia, there is a different problem than in subcortical heterotopia, of which this is an example. And in this unilateral subcortical heterotopia, there's also abnormality of the overlying cortex. In the beginning I said that periventricular heterotopia or heterotopia can be epileptogenic, but not always. The heterotopic gray matter has a function closely related to the overlying cortex and it can communicate with the neocortex and sometimes the epileptogenic zone is in the uh, heterotopic gray matter, but sometimes it is in the normal topic cortex. And to evaluate this, there was a very nice article where they did tractography from the heterotopia and functional MRI to map the network. And um, then they looked at the function of the heterotopic neurons in this uh, network 
And as you can see, there are more green arrows, more excitatory than red inhibitory arrows. And that makes sense because in the beginning I said it's made mainly radial migration of glutamate neurons, whereas the GABAergic neurons come from the lateral ganglionic eminence and they move in tangentially. So in a heterotopia, there's usually more excitatory than inhibitory um, synapses. There's a very special form of heterotopia, and that is band heterotopia, that I will discuss in the next brain bit by bit, together with pachygyria and lysencephaly, which are also disorders of migration. Thanks for watching and until next.